welcome to the Republic Bank YMCA. We are inside the brand new Hospice Resource Center. I'm with Amy Hill, the Executive Director of Counseling Services here. Amy, first of all, super impressed and congratulations. Thank you. Thank I mean, you. What, what a great resource this yes. is here. And I think for anybody that's been uh, to this YMCA, mm -hmm. the Republic Bank YMCA, it's a phenomenal place. Mm -hmm. And this just adds to the services yeah. here, right? Right. Talk us through kind of uh, how this came about and yeah. why you all wanted to be a part of this great project. Uh, we had several people in the community reach out to us saying, we want you all in this space. We want you in West Louisville to have a physical location so that we can serve the community. There's a lot of folks that need grief support um, out this way yeah. and we want to be a resource and we want to be physically in the space so that people can walk in the door and sit down with our counselor and actually receive services in their own community. And what kinds of services are provided here? So we provide individual grief counseling, we uh, provide family counseling, and we also provide group support. And this is really, this location kind of helps bridge that gap in accessibility mm -hmm. for um, mental health services mm -hmm. in our community. How so? So we have a licensed counselor that is based here four days a week um, and really helping them assess kind of where they're at with their grief and loss. You know, grief in many ways is very normal and they just need somebody to educate and support and kind of walk alongside them in that journey with grief. So um, that's what she does here. And Hospice does such a phenomenal job of, of helping families navigate illness, right? Mm -hmm. There's the physical signs yes. we see, but you all really step in with that support that mm -hmm. you, you, you necessarily might not see outwardly. Yeah, so a lot of people don't realize that we have master's level chaplains on our, on our hospice teams. We have master's level social workers, um, and we provide that kind of wraparound of services for our, our patients and our families, because it isn't just physical that we're dealing with, we're dealing with with all of it. And so our social workers are helping with advanced directives. Our chaplains are there to provide that spiritual support and um, really provide that holistic care in the home. You mentioned something really important I want to go back to. You talk about the families. It's mm -hmm. one thing to treat, mm -hmm. you know, one person and help one person. You all are helping the families because, mm -hmm. I mean, it affects everybody. Yes. I always say that what we provide is patient and family care because mm -hmm. we really see our families as being just as important as our patients. And so we really do um, wrap those services around them as well. Well, this is the holiday season, and I think a lot of people are thinking, what ways can I give back? Mm -hmm. and, and we want to make people aware of Hospice because this is a phenomenal place mm -hmm. to put your support in. That's why yeah. you all are able to even be here in this location. Why is it important for them to donate yeah. specifically to hospice systems? So here? because of our generous donors, we've been able to have locations like this. Um, without that support, we would have not been able to expand um, to this location. We um, are able to provide creative programming around grief. It's not just individual counseling. We provide creative programming like uh, grief yoga that we just started up this month. Um, we have special programming around children and loss, and we're in schools, and all that is because of our donors. What programs are offered because of this funding? So we have uh, lots of different programs, but specifically programs like our Camp Evergreen, which is a weekend camp for families. So it's a family camp, which is really unusual. Most places don't offer a camp for an entire family. So um, that's an entire weekend with our counselors and our volunteers to support and really our families at the end of that weekend are different, they're changed. And so those kind of programs are 100% donor funded um, and programs like this here at the Y. And finally, where can people go if maybe they need help or they want to make an appointment? So we have everything on our Hospice Health website. You can find out about everything that we do, including all of our grief counseling groups. Um, and that is at hospicehealth.org. All right, Amy, thank you. <laughs>